In this video, we will be looking at a map chart in PowerPoint. To create a map chart, go to insert, click on chart, locate map chart, which is under XY scatter, click OK. By default, it shows a world map with data for a few countries spread across different continents. They are colored from a lighter blue to a darker blue. The scale or the legend for the values is shown here. 6 being the lowest value with lighter blue. So Sweden here has the lowest value, so it's colored in a lighter blue, while Australia has the highest value and it's colored in a darker blue color. The series one is the label we see here. So let's say this data was some kind of a ranking data and if we put rank here, you will see that rank is updated here. Let's close the data sheet for now. Next, let's look at all the options that come with a map chart. First, let's click on this plus sign, which is in the top right corner. We can enable or disable chart title. Let's disable it for now. Then we have the legend option checked and this is our legend. Let's keep it. Let's check the data labels option and here click on this arrow next to data labels. Here we get three options. First is of course not showing any data labels. Then we can show the data labels. And the third option gives us more options under data labels options. So let's click on that. On the right hand side, we have three options. So right now values is checked, which is why we see all the values here. If we click on category names, it shows the country names. If we were to click on series name, it also shows this rank text before the country name. We don't need to see that. So let's uncheck that. We might want to see the country name. So let's keep that. Let's not show the values because we are basically trying to show the intensity. So the values should matter less. Let's uncheck that. We have one more option called number. Here you can change whether your values need to be shown in a number format or percentage and so on. So there are so many options here, but most likely you will have either numbers or percentages. So that's the label options. Let's close that. Next double click on the chart on the right hand side we now have series options and series color let's look at series options first we get three drop down boxes under series options first is called map projection powerpoint gives us three options of map projections the first one is called mercator second is miller and third is robinson by default robinson would be selected for us let's look at mercator mercator stretches the map vertically so Greenland for some reason looks like the largest continent on earth, which is farther from the truth. And Africa looks like an average continent, which is so not true. So I don't like this approximation. Let's look at Miller. This is better than the previous one. However, Greenland is still overrepresented. Let's look at Robinson, which is the default option. This looks much more closer to the reality. Of course, with any projection, it won't be perfect. There will be some countries which won't be accurate based on their actual size, but I think this looks the best of the three. So I'll stick with this. The second option we have is map area. We have two options. So by default, we have the world option selected. Let's look at only regions with data. This one shows the countries that have data in them and all the other countries are hidden. When we have a country level map, we will have a couple of more options available here. For now, let's keep this on automatic. Under map labels, we have two options. First one is called best fit only and second one is show all. So if we enable show all, we will see See data labels added again so Russia has two data labels that's because we have enabled data labels from this option here so let me uncheck this option from here so let's check none and then enable both options one by one and see how it looks so first let's click on best fit only it only shows the labels for countries where the label can fit properly and it ignores the smaller countries let's click on show all it adds the labels for a couple of more countries. So India has a label with dot dot here. Argentina has a label. However, Mexico, France or Sweden don't have any label. Even Namibia doesn't have labels. So I don't know what show all means. What I would suggest is you just select none under map labels and manually add the labels. So that way you will have a complete control over formatting. Next, let's look at series colors. So under series color, we have two options. One is a two color and 
the second one is a three color option now a two color option colors all the data points in the range of two colors that you choose here we have a minimum and a maximum so minimum is the color that will be chosen for the lowest value in our data and the maximum is for the highest value you can customize these colors powerpoint will interpolate all the colors between these two colors and color them automatically based on the values in case of a three color option it's the same thing except you can now choose three colors on the right if you notice we have three text boxes with three values in them the powerpoint shows us what the minimum value is in our data set what's the maximum and what's the middle value so it's kind of a cool feature that powerpoint gives us because if we have hundreds of values in our map it would be really handy to know what the minimum is maximum is without necessarily having to look at the data set let's change an option to see how the map changes right so feel free to change these values and see what colors work the best for you I like the two color option because our maps look a lot consistent this way and I'm not good at picking right colors when it comes to three colors and that's the extent of all the customization options we get with a map chart at the bottom we have a footnote let me zoom in so we can read it says powered by Bing and the source of the data I haven't seen any option that lets us disable this footnote so if you don't want to show this footnote you can just put a blank shape on top of it next let's make a few more maps at the country level so I'm going to create a blank slide then go to insert click on chart click on map chart click OK I have prepared data with different countries here so let's make a chart for Germany here we have the states or provinces of Germany so I'm gonna select that paste the text here and let's put some dummy values in our column B in case of countries I recommend you add the name of the country at the top here the map looks incomplete that's because powerpoint hasn't detected all the rows in our data sheet let's fix that click on the chart once go to chart design select click on select data now you will see that the chart range takes in values up to row number 13 but if i look at my data sheet we have values up to row 17 so let's change this 13 to 17 click ok and now you will see that our map is entirely populated. We can edit our chart title to say Germany. You can enable data labels if you want. If you want to see the category labels, you can show them like so. If for some reason your chart isn't showing the data for a specific state, you can check if the spelling of the state is correct. Try and use the local language names instead of their English equivalent. For example, let's say the map was not accepting this state. You could check if the spelling is right. Next check if you have used the local name, which is Nieder Sachsen and not like Lower Sachsen or lower saxony or something like that see if that fixes it most likely for the popular western countries it takes in both english as well as the local language name but in your case if that's not happening try the local name so that's germany for us so i have prepared a few more maps for you here is republique française france if i look at the data sheet for this you'll notice that i have picked all the local names and none of their English equivalent like here is Brittany so I have the local name here and this is the area in kilometer square as you'll notice that this is the biggest area that's why it's in darker color and the smallest one is Ile de France you will notice here we have an exclamation mark let's click on it and see what it says it says we plotted 72 percent of locations which means there are some cells in our data which PowerPoint was not able to plot. And I think I know which option is that. This could be Guiana. I think this is 
French Guiana. So whenever you get an exclamation mark like this and PowerPoint tells you that it was not able to plot 100% of the data, there could be a couple of reasons. One could be that region is far away from the mainland or that area is disputed. I think Microsoft chooses not to include that because it is likely to offend one or the other party. So if it's politically sensitive, you would likely see that PowerPoint chooses to leave that gray and not populate it. So I don't know which is the case here. I'm guessing because French Guiana is in South America, it just chooses to exclude that. Here is the population data for USA. Now US is the best map country when it comes to map chart. So whenever you are working on a map of US, it doesn't matter whether it's state level or country level, you would likely not encounter any issues because it's really well mapped and detailed. Next, because I have few viewers in Philippines, I thought I will also show the map of Philippines. While I was doing this, I was shocked that Philippines has so many regions. So if you look at the data sheet, Philippines has like 83 regions, which is awesome. And this is the population data for each region. I have kept the map of Philippines on the left hand side for comparison in case PowerPoint made any mistakes while populating data that would be apparent based on this. Now I tried to make a map for UK. So as we know, UK has four countries. So if I try to make the map of UK that shows just the four countries, this is what happens. So I have four countries here. If I paste the data, delete the rest of the rows, it does not show the map of UK. Now, the main reason why that is, is because we have Northern Ireland. So if I remove Northern Ireland, it shows us the UK map. So I'm imagining that's because there is some dispute when it comes to Northern Ireland, which is why I guess Microsoft chooses not to include that. I don't think this is the naming issue as well because I tried different combinations, but it just chooses not to show it. So if you still want to label it, what I would suggest is make sure that the UK map shows up and then copy the UK map, paste special as enhanced meta file, put it to the side, ungroup it by right clicking Go to group, ungroup, click yes. Do that one more time. And delete all these extra shapes and text here. You would have a completely editable UK map. Now you can change Northern Ireland to any color you like. So if you run into this issue with any country, just make sure that the whole country shows somehow, then copy it paste special it as enhanced meta file or SVG, either will do. Then ungroup the shapes and edit your individual shapes to any colors you like. So this is a very powerful option available to us. Because I like complete control over formatting, I mostly make my maps and then convert them into shapes and edit them as I see fit. So I recommend you try that as well. While we were on that topic, I tried to see if I can just see the map of Northern Ireland. So I took the regions of Northern Ireland and made a map. And surprisingly, it does show the map of Northern Ireland. However, it does not show all the regions. So that's all I had to cover for a map chart. In summary, while the PowerPoint map chart does have some good functionalities for us to use, what I like to do is first I make my map as much as I can within PowerPoint, then I copy and paste it as EMF file, then I ungroup it, and then I edit again based on the formatting I'm looking for. It takes slightly longer, but then I have complete control over formatting, placement, and everything. That's all I have for this video. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for future videos and I will catch you next time.